Hello guys and girls, my name is Kasif and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is slightly different, um, I'm going to be explaining something but before I do that I need to explain what you're seeing at the moment. So, um, this video is related to building, so if you're interested in how we build um, you know, the project, um, it's just how you know the tool set works and how Never Tonight's 2 works regarding um, building. But also this um, video is um, for um, somebody who needs sort of like um, help regarding um, building and also it's sort of a demonstration for other people who I've been contacting so uh, that's just for that but you know I thought I would share it for everybody else because uh, it's an interesting you know it's a good learning factor. But um, what you're seeing at the moment is the area of what I'm building is related to the project but I haven't added it in yet. Uh, I want to get people's opinions. So, for those, well, hopefully everybody's familiar with RuneScape, but for those who aren't familiar with RuneScape, um, once you create a character, um, let's just talk about Tutorial Island because that's what we've got in the project. So, when you create a character, um, you are thrown onto an island and it's very fourth wall, of course. You know, it, t it tells you all about the skills, it tells you, you know, um, your UI, such as like clicking on your inventory and spells book and all that stuff. So it's it's fourfold. So it's not role playing. It's not part of the actual game. If that makes sense, it's um it's just purely for fourth wall. Um, so as our project works exactly the same. So once you create a character, you log into Tutorial Island straight away. Now the poll which you're seeing now is. Would you guys want us to add um, a character storyline, background, or an origin so um, your character isn't just thrown into um, the Tutorial Island, it has some sort of story like why you're there, why you got put on Tutorial Island, and then why are you in this world called Gillinor? Do you want us to add that? Um, we have, well I have a few um, ideas. I've been working on some stuff in case you know you do want to see it. But um, again, you know this this link to the poll will be in the description, so um, just vote for that. And to ask any questions if you're unsure, you know, um, and it, it will be entirely up to you. So please vote, and it will mean a lot. Okay, so now on to the building. Um, I've well, this picture right now is a picture of the tool set, but I've cut out all the UI, such as. Um, all the buttons and tabs on the side so uh, there's it's not going to be moving this it's more like a slide, slideshow so uh apologies for that um but here is an uh sort of a default area so once you create an area it comes out as this like purely flat um uh, green land um i'd say this is around a medium sized area um, you can get much larger areas but this one's about just a, a medium to large size area now how i build is um this purely for custom build so say if uh, if i'm working on say ardoing or yanil in runescape for a project um it's it's a lot easier to build because you are basing it off something else so if you see a house, you just measure that house, and then you know you pull in the project. You're extracting, you're ex yeah. you're extracting um, landscape and design from one game and pulling it into another. So you're not creating it from scratch, pretty much. You know what you're basing it off, and you got it right in front of you. So this is um, how I sort of do custom areas. So you can see a lot of lines and um, a lot of um, different colors. So. The green represents sort of like um, the grassy, where trees are mostly going to be based. Um, it's supposed to be blue, but it looks like um, turquoise. Um, but the blue on the left side is representing water. Brown generally just means roads. Um, if it's brown, then it's sort of like a dirt, a dirt road or path. If it's something like grey or black, then that's sort of like... Um, uh, a cobblestone road or path. Yellow represents any, any sort of like um, vegetation so um, what I'm doing here is it's sort of like a farmland so the yellow just represents where the farms are going to be and grey just pretty much represents where buildings are going to be. So now onto the second picture um, what I've done is I've custom well I've edited the terrain to match what um, I want the you know the lines to um, represent. So if you see with the blue, which represents the river, it's more down. It's, um, 
more eroded it's more you know indented into the ground and the green where the trees are are more um sort of like raised up and just higher than the average ground uh hard to tell but the pretty much the dirt path fields and um they're all sort of like lumpy so it's not really smooth flat if you know if you walk it down any dirt path it's always you get the odd sort of like pothole or uh, just random lumps and bumps and you know in the fields itself it's a lot more rough because it's been all churned up to plant the seeds so it's very old rough and jagged whereas in the background with the gray build or with the gray um, paint is that's more smooth because obviously you know so you're not going to build like houses on like really rough terrain so it's a lot smooth there so now you can see the colored lines are gone and now they've been replaced with textures uh, pretty much the textures just help represent what it actually is now so um here we're looking at the the river of um you know where the river is going to be so we got the base of a river which is sort of like um a muddy grayish color and then you've got like a darker muddy color on the rims of where the water will be so that just represents you know where the water line is going to be so um it's sort of like if you ever go to the beach um you get the, like the really soft sand at the top and then once you head towards the water you got the more darker um wetter sand that's due to the fact that you know the sea is just um, recently been on it or you know it's just a lot um, wet and well it's a lot watery underneath <laughs> Uh, so, you know, it's a lot darker there because that's where, you know, the water's lapping, lapping up um, against the, I guess, the banks of the um, the dirt. And then higher up, you've just got the, the lighter dirt, so that's its natural colour. And then, you know, then you've got the, um, the more detailed grass colouring. Now, again, this is sort of like um, an outer zoom of the river. Um, I've added extra detail to the, the greenery, well, the grass and the rural area. So you've got like... Um, it's not just one texture as like a, a darker greener now um what i tend to do is with areas which have more you know more dense amount of bushes and trees i make grounds more darker um on the little hills bit in the middle you won't be able to see that much but if you look onto the left side of the edge of a map you can see that's a lot more darker because that's just going to represent you know that's where woods will be but um, now and then you can just see little, little um, splodges of um, darker green on the, just the little rural hill bits. Now the path itself has um, it's been edited, so no more brown line. Now with here, I've edited uh, the rest, well, I can say rest, but the, um, the right side of the map. So we've edited the... So now I've edited the right side of the map. Um, you can see the hills, well, I guess uh, little mounds of um, hills just to right of the path. Um, they've got a darker green. Uh, you can see little rims of dirt of where sort of like um, the hill goes steep, so sort of like um, the slopes. That's just, you know, that's just, um, it adds an extra detail of, um, especially on the map, you know, if you're looking sort of like on its side, it helps make it stand out that it's a hill. Whereas if, it's, if it was just um, all green and grass, it's a lot harder to tell there's a hill there unless you say you've got like, um, if you're underneath it or you've got like trees because the trees will be, you know, hi higher up. Not a lot of detail to go into this one um, due to the fact that I do actually end up editing this bit um, later on. But uh, I just had a day lighter um, dirt colour just to represent where the farms are going to be. So now this is an overlay of sort of um, the entire area so far. Um, we've got the river, we've got the path, we've got the farms, um, we've got the hills, and then we've got the farms at the back. So now we've got all the texture down, what we need to do is start to work on the extra finer details to make it stand out a lot more. So now we've got an extra coat of um, colouring just completely um, added onto the map. And as you can see, it makes it stand out a lot more. Um, the, the rural um, grassy bits it's a lot more you know it's a lot more different colouring going on um, I've made it a darker green where you know like I said earlier where there's, it's more dense so I've added about extra dark green the river is more muddy it's more you know more darker underneath the waterbed and um, it's just some you know some more colouring going on there 
um and you got the you know the typical the farm bit um the farms at the top and then you got the actual farms itself um it's not just one coloring so it's a lot more grayer on the fields whereas the um the tanned sand well the tan dirt at the top is not just one color as well um i've made added a, well added a coat of sort of like gray coloring onto the path to make it more more dirty and not just you know more like um more one color so it was sort of the same as um, the farmlands itself so once all the coloring and texturing and all the terrain is done what i work on now is adding the i guess um the next layer of detail so that includes anything such as um grass um flowers and just pretty much that uh so for example here we got a picture of um the river we've added the water itself now as you can see the water's just on the rim of that the dark um, the dark wet um dirt so we just got that little fine detail there we got we just got the grass you know it's not it's not a massive um thing to talk about it's grass is grass but um, we got like reeds going along the river just to you know add that slight um, variation to um, the grass here we have um the other picture sort of the rest of the map so we got the um the wheat in the fields we got the grass covering everywhere else and you know it's just that extra small detail yeah it definitely helps um say if uh like i mentioned earlier if you've got like a lot of um, one texture a grass definitely helps with covering that up but if you have coloring in different textures onto one grass um well onto the terrain the grass makes that even better by you know sort of like concealing those small little gaps of where the texturing looks exactly the same it's all like where it duplicates over so with the grass down i've started to add more finer details especially to the river so i wanted um this side to be more you know more like um sort of like a run down rural area so it's like <laughs> it's sort of like um that that river type of thing where if you're a kid your mom would say you know don't go by the river because it's dodgy there <laughs> uh so i got that sort of um feeling going on there so uh, we got like um little patches of grass we got a lot of rocks and we got rocks sticking out the river so you know it's something you don't want to go swimming around we got like um, branches stuck on the um the rocks and uh, further down the river i've added a lot more well uh, more finer details such as um like a random log stuck on um a rock just poking out and just stuff like that you know more branches more twigs just sticking out then here we have um sort of the rest of the map it's slightly hard to see but we got fencing along the path so you know it helps guide the player um we got fences going around the farm just because it's a farm you know you don't want to be walking on that um in the open so you know we got that protective um, fence now we got fences along the path so here we have the, the area itself um what i do with like uh, trees are a big pain in the ass so uh, what i used to do in the early days of a project was um, work on corners of the areas and like max that out with detail then work on to a sort of like a say in lumbridge you know lumbridge was the first area i would build um the castle the courtyard i'd have all the trees around it i'd add all the grass for texturing then I'd work outside to like um, the Lumbridge Church and the bridge and Bob's axes and stuff like that in the graveyard. And adding trees was a big pain because it's a lot harder to see, you know. You have to sort of like take the camera underneath the trees. So what I do now is I leave the trees to the finer edges. So as you can see on the um, on the left side of the river, we've got the yew trees, of course. Not yew trees, the willow trees, sorry. Uh, we got oak trees in the back, sort of like just to add that... Um, that dense feeling you know you won't you won't be able to really see past the river so um this if you do get that close you do have that extra line of sort of like um background detail to add there so it's not just empty um coming up the hills we got um the oak trees and the normal trees and along the path if you can see we've got um, a little hedgerow which um, i actually take off because it didn't look so good as, as i planned but yeah we got um, just a bunch of trees now you're probably wondering, you know, why are you look, you know, why just the picture of this area? Um, I do actually have the final outcome, but um, I don't want to show that because it is sort of like very spoilery. 
if I do just show that now. Um, I'm waiting on the poll results, so you know, if the poll results, um, you know, if you do want to add that extra uh, background detail or, you know, a story given to your character of why he's there or why she's there, then yeah, I'll probably do a tour of um, this bit, but if not, then maybe I'll just do the tour as well, you know, so either way, once I get the poll results, um, I'll know the tour. I just sort of like, I don't want this um, to ruin anything regarding um, the poll, so yeah, so this is just one of the areas um and that's pretty much it so um that's i guess how we detail a custom area um let me you know um that's just my personal how i do it um again this was for some people who um, needed help regarding building um uh, but yeah you know let me f know what you think of the area so far um do you, what do you like um Regarding the farmlands, um, so I did, like I said, I did edit it. It turned out the the little, you know, the top left corner, it was way too big. So I actually had to um, reduce that a lot and um, add uh, a lot of more details here. So but again, that's all part of the, the story. So, uh, you know, please throw in the poll. It will help us regarding feedback. You know, it's, it'll be actually a game feature. So a vote actually... Um, does have a opinion on this so uh thank you all for watching guys and i'll see you next time peace